Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night. And out you did it go. The Chris, Chris Gethard, Gethard Show. The Chris, Chris Gethard, Gethard Show. Oh, Chris, Chris Gethard, Gethard Show. Oh, Chris Gethard. Thank you. Thanks for coming out to the Chris Gethard Show. Thanks to our studio audience. Thanks to everybody watching at thechrisgethardshow.com. Thanks to everybody watching on MNN. Very, very psyched to have you here. You're at the Chris Gethard Show. I am your host, Chris Gethard. I did not name tonight's episode. This started outside of my control. I wanted to have a, an episode that was all about dating, hooking people up. It has been named outside of my control, Papa Geth's Cauldron of Love. <laughs> I want to thank you all. I want to welcome you all for uh, checking out pa Papa Geth's Cauldron of Love. As you can see behind me, right here, we have uh, over two dozen people who are currently speed dating. It's all set up. It's going to start now. Let's have our first date begin now. Two-minute dates. Let's have our speed daters get talking. We're going to have a lot more stuff happening while that's going on behind us. Before we even get into any of that, though, we have a video that was sent to us this week. has nothing to do with dating. We wanted to give it its own time up front. Pretty cool that this person reached out to us. We can't believe what happened. Shannon, you're going to want to pay special attention to this video. Let's go ahead. Let's roll our first video. Hello, Shannon. My name is Tim, and I'm 18 years old. In episode two, you said... I think... Uh meaning of life is to uh, just uh, take advantage and do what you can while you're on earth because it could end at any moment. So like, like whatever you want to do, just, just do it. Now, growing up, you hear stuff like that all the time and you learn to tune it out after a while. For some reason, when you said it though, it hit me. In high school, I got picked on a lot. I didn't really have any friends that I felt I could trust. And needless to say, I was battling depression. It was a battle I thought I would lose on more than one occasion. My dad kept trying to push me towards a career I had no interest in, and I just wanted to be a video game programmer. I'd spent nearly all of my near unlimited free time during high school learning how to program, and by the end of my senior year, I was more than ready. I had programmed 876, that's not an exaggeration, small games. College would have just been a huge waste of time and money because I would learn absolutely nothing useful if I wanted to be a programmer. But I was still going to go. Why? Because my dad wanted me to go into that career. Wouldn't want to disappoint him, right? And then I saw that episode of The Chris Gethard Show. When you said those words, it made me stop and think to myself, what am I doing? Fuck being a graphic designer. I have all the skills I need to be a programmer, and that's what I want to do with my life. I don't care what my dad thinks. And when it came to do the final registration stuff for college, I didn't do it. I acted like I completely forgot about it. And since then, me and some people I've become friends with started an unofficial game development company, and we are now working on our first large game together, and I couldn't be happier. Yes, in ways I'm still battling depression, but it's more like a game of Jenga. Sure, if people pull on certain blocks, I'll crumble, but now I can always build myself back up again. Thank you, Shannon O'Neill. You have given me hope. In honor of that hope that you've given me, I would like to name one of the main characters in my game after you. Would that be okay? Sincerely, Tim. God, our speed daters need to quiet down just a little bit. It's insane. We just need our speed dates a little quiet. So for those of you guys who couldn't hear, Shannon, a guy who watches this show, opted to not go to college because of something you said. How does that make you feel? What did I specifically say? You were like, follow your dreams, man. Do your own thing. He's like, fuck it. I'm not going to college. Awesome. awesome. All right. That's great. Yeah. My sister-in-law did not go to college. She self-taught herself. She's taught herself everything. Now she's a graphic artist for 30 Rock. Wow. Okay. Yeah, she self-taught herself everything. Yeah. Oh my God. We are completely fucked sound-wise this episode. Yeah. This is Catherine. <laughs> Catherine Newton, your coordinates speed editing. They have to keep it down. This is not even a viable television show. They're in a romantic restaurant. This is not a viable comedy show. <laughs> Tell them <laughs> everyone's had a whisper. They all have to get like closer. Everyone got a whisper and leaning close. The romance. Yeah. This is already out of control. Yeah. yeah. 
Gotta really keep it down. Smell each other's breath. Well, we already met Shannon tonight. Random Andrews here. Murph back at the show. Bethany back at the show. I want to thank all you guys for being here. We also have two very special guests. One, you know him, you love him. The man from the sea, the human fish here tonight. Human fish, human fish. What's he thinking? Human fish, human fish, human fish. So mysterious. Human fish. Try not to hit the mic next time, human fish. Now, human fish is looking for love tonight as well. Switch, speed dater, switch. And keep it the fuck down, Jesus. Now, human fish is looking for a girlfriend. Is that true, human fish? Human fish has dated fish in the past. He's never dated ladies. So ladies of New York, call us up, 212-757-1393. That's 212-757-1393. Ask the human fish what's on his mind. Make it romantic. He will as well. Like, human fish, what romantic topic is on your mind right now? Papa gets cauldron of love versus Papa Beaver story time. Papa gets cauldron of love versus Papa Beaver story time. Who wins? Story. What? <laughs> crazy, crazy. And I also want to introduce for the first time my friend Nicole Byer. You're on our show, finally. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Catherine, yes. they got to keep it down. Now, Nicole, I asked you right when we started this show, I said, do you have any bits that you want to pitch? And I said I want to fuck someone. You said you want to use this show to find a man to fuck. <laughs> All right. So men of New York City. Call us up. You're saying anybody can call you up and at least pitch themselves. At least pitch themselves, but they have to be attractive. So, yeah, what are you looking for? What are you looking for in a fuckable man? I like old, white, balding men. Old, white, balding men. And if they're not old, white, and balding, they have to be really tall and kind of bigger, but not fat. So, so you like, like a huskier gentleman? Like the commish. Older. I yes. would like to think that watching Manhattan Neighborhood Network now are many balding old white men. <laughs> Call us up, 212-757-1393. If you want to date Will Hines, fish, call, call us. Up. You want to date Nicole, call us. And if you are, want to come to the studio and meet any of these lovely single people tonight, 537 West 59th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues, get down here. Papa Gets going to hook you up. Let's make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you give us a call? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you give us a call? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm hearing we already have someone on the phone. So we have a caller on the line. Speed later, that's a switch. Phone uh -huh. Yes, you're on the line. Who's this? Uh, this is Naomi. Naomi, what do you want to talk about tonight? Um, uh, well, first of all, you are wearing flannel, which I am currently Naomi, wearing. can you hold on one second? Yeah. Gators. Whisper, whisper, whisper. What's that, Naomi? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's uh, not your fault, Naomi. <laughs> I'm wearing flannel right now, and I appreciate your flannel. Oh, thank you very much. It's not flannel, though. It's not flannel. I got flannel, though. Random Andrew got flannel. Old flannel. Um, also, I got, I have a story. I got in trouble uh, in class the other day because I was watching the Chris Gethard show on my iPod instead of paying attention. You got caught watching the Chris Gethard show. Wow. All right. <laughs> Now, Naomi, well, are you in high school or college? What kind of uh, I'm in high school. <laughs> You're in high school? Yeah. So you got busted in a high school class watching this show? I got uh, I got busted in chem, yeah. Chem, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Don't go to high school. Don't go, Don't go no, to no. high school. You can tell your teacher, Chris Gethard personally said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> tell your high school teacher that. I'll, I'll let her know next time. Let her know. Yes, please do. Now, anything it. else? Now, Naomi, are you single? Are you dating someone? What's your story? Um, actually, I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. Okay, so you're off the blocks on this one. Uh, yeah, uh, but he wears flannel, too, sort of like this. I guess us, but whatever. I don't know. All this love in the room, all this speed dating is very hard to hear, Naomi. And that's our fault. It's not yours. I want to thank um, you for your call. Keep watching the Chris Gather Show class. Tell everybody in your high school to watch that shit. I, I they can't expel all of you. They can't expel all of you. They can't. They can't. No. They, what, are they just not going to have a school? It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. 
Naomi, thank you so much for the call. Thank you so much you for the call. Switch. Oh, that's a switch. And keep it down, speed daters. Do you have anybody else on the phone lines right now? Phone Caller, you are on the air. Welcome to the show. Hi, this is Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa, what's up? Checking in with Alyssa. Checking in with Alyssa. Alyssa, what's up? So, Alyssa, you're also a high school student who watches our show. Naomi just tried to steal your thunder. What's up? How are you doing? Um, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. What did you want to talk about tonight? Um, I don't know. The most... Interesting thing going on right now. This is the most. This is the saddest thing I think I could ever talk about. As if there wasn't enough reason to make fun of me. Um, Friday, I have my mock trial. My life. I have to go to the courthouse. So I have mock trial. You going to a courthouse for a mock trial? Mm -hmm. It's no bullshit. You're 16 years old. <laughs> wow. So how's that? Are you feeling nervous about the mock trial? Are you taking it seriously or no? Um, I'm. I'm kind of nervous. Last year, I passed out. You passed out <laughs> at the mock trial? Oh, no. Yes, wow. I, I, was, I was sick. So let's, I hope it goes better than that. And I have to be there until like 6 o'clock at night. And you're, you're like the prosecutor or your defense? Shannon, don't do it. Whatever inappropriate thing you're about to say, don't go there. No, I'm asking an honest question. <laughs> Are you prosecution or defense? <laughs> Alyssa, Shannon wants to... Alyssa's the prosecution. So you're going to put an innocent person in jail? Well, it's a what mock. is it? She what is the trial? Put someone innocent in jail, but it's a mock trial. No, it's for real. She doesn't realize it. What's the trial? What's the topic? What's the case? What's the case, Alyssa? Okay. I, it's really stupid. It's about um, a high school student is being charged with um, reckless conduct. Change it to rape. Yeah. <laughs> Do not listen to Change Shannon. it to reckless rape, Do Alyssa. Not Change it to not reckless. Not Shannon. You should not change reckless, your, tax, your mock trial topic rape. to reckless rape. You should not. Speed Gators, that's a switch. Alyssa, anything else on your mind? What's up? Oh, good to see what? you, ma'am. Alyssa, anything else you want to talk about tonight? No. Oh, Bethany wants to know if you have a boyfriend. Oh, no. I don't have any friends at all. Yeah. Well, you got a whole bunch right of friends here. right here at the Chris Catholic Show. All sorts of friends. She lives in. Can you live in Connecticut? She lives in Connecticut. Get on a train. This is also Alyssa. I don't think this is the first story you've told on this show about passing out. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for the call, Alyssa. Thank you. Great to see you. Yeah, I mean, at some, at some point we'll deal with it down the line for sure during our next video or something like that. Um, let's get a 212-757-1393. If you want to be the human fish's first human girlfriend, if you want to straight up, I feel crass saying it. If you want to fuck me. If you want to straight up fuck Nicole. <laughs> call us up. 212-757-1393. Speed daters, let's keep it down. Do we have anybody else on the line? Any callers on the line? Caller, welcome to the show. Hey. Who's this? This is Raja. What's that? This is Raja, aka Act X Y Feminist. Hold on, speed daters. We're gonna we got we need you guys to be quiet. What was that? Act X Y Feminist. Are you plugging your Twitter on our show? <laughs> yes. Why? No one watches this show. <laughs> But your show is awesome, and you, Chris Gethard, are awesome. And do you know why you're awesome? I don't. <laughs> because you have a supremely specific worldview. I do have a specific worldview. So what's your story? Are you a murderer? What's the... <laughs> I promise you, I'm not a murderer. That much I can guarantee. I've never killed a person. So what do you want? What do you want tonight besides to plug your own Twitter? <laughs> Here's what I want from you, Chris Gethard. We met in an elevator once. We met in an elevator? Yes, we met in an elevator. I don't know that you remember this, and I don't expect you to. This is by far the scariest call in the history of this show. <laughs> Gotta get specifics. There's a lot of elevator rides. But here's the thing. What I want to know from you, Chris Gethers. Okay, I'm listening. Is 
What are the things in your life that impacted your worldview? Because I've seen you with stepfathers. Right. I've seen your comedy. I've seen your whatever. Right. But I want to know what specific things informed, you, informed I, the way you I'll get, I got you. I hear world. your question. <laughs> I'm going to answer it. The thing that specifically informs my worldview is the ability to hang up the fucking phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, and it's taking a really long time. You should email me with these questions, because they don't have anything to do with the show. Just email me, yeah. I mean, thanks for the call, but I do not know what it was about. It was a really long call. Is he sick? Uh, Roger, are you he, dating I think anyone? he's gone. We don't want... We're not hooking any of these lovely ladies up. Yeah, it was a guy named Roger. He was very effeminate. He seemed, he was also a, a, a maniac. That was a lunatic and a crazy person. I'm glad you're watching the show. Thank you for the support, but you're crazy. You're a crazy person. Caller, welcome to the show. We have another caller on the line. Caller. Hello? Yes, who's this? Hi. This, hi, this is Nate Dern. Hey, Nate Dern, what's up? How are you? Good, how's, how's, how are you doing today? We're pretty good. It's a little bit of a chaotic, loud show. I, I don't know how it reads on TV or the internet, but we're having oh. fun. It's, a, it's exciting. It's fun. Good. So, Nate, how can we help you tonight? Uh, I was just calling. I don't know if this is how it works, but I wanted to tell Alyssa that I did mock trial in high school, too. So you're a fellow mock trial enthusiast? All four years. Now, this is our dating show. How was your dating life in high, high school as a mock trial guy? It was great. It was. I was the. I was the king of the roost. Really, you had you had a whole bunch of dating opportunities out there. Yeah, it was, it was a small small debate team, so I got to be prosecution and defense, if you know what I mean. Wow! So you cleaned up. Yeah. Now, Nate Dern, I know you outside of this. You're friends with the human fish. If you were a human lady, you'd want to be the human fish's girlfriend, right? Oh yeah, I would. And if you were a balding white male, you would want to fuck Nicole Byer. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Nice. Nate, thank you for the call. Anything else you want to talk about tonight? No, keep up the great work, guys. Thank you so much, Nate. Thanks a lot. All right, take care. All right. What should I do? Noah, what should I do? Keep going? Stretch it out? All right. So 212-757-1393, uh, call us up. Specifically, if you want to be the human fish's first ever human girlfriend. Specifically, if you just want to fuck in. Get it on with Nicole. And Nicole, you don't fuck around. We've nope. talked about this. Yep. You go I for broke. Get it done. You get it done. I will get it done. Let's tell these men right to camera what they have to look forward to. <laughs> Just wow. kidding. I won't You're do not, that. though. No, I'm not. I will yeah. do all of that. You'll destroy a guy, right? Yes. I just want to get up. Wow. And you're good at it, is what you're saying. I think so. Yeah, I bet. I don't just lay there. No, not at all. So 212-717-1393. Call us up. Human is first human girlfriend. We're looking for you. Nicole just, that was one hell of a pitch. In the meantime, we're going to have to pull. Hold on, right there. Hold on. Pause the speed dating. Speed daters, pause where you are, because we have some very special guests joining us tonight. We want speed dates. You're going to move on after our guests have just played. We're going to cut the noise right now. We want our studio audience to get up and dance. Super excited to welcome these guys. I once appeared on a show on WFMU Radio called Seven Second Delay. These guys did as well. I was blown away by them. Was super psyched to email them and that they agreed to do our show as well. You can find them on Facebook. Find them at their website, GengisBarbie.com. They got a new album out of Christmas songs right now. Let's everybody get up, enjoy the stylings. You are gonna be fucking blown away by these guys. Genghis Barbie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Merry Christmas. Gentlemen, amazing. Banana Man, what did you think of that? Banana Man, get up here. Amazing, right? This is so beautiful, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Thank you so much. We've had so many bands on this show in the six months we've been doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and say Genghis Barbie, easily the most punk rock band we've ever had on this show. So fucking cool, man. You can't fuck with that, right? Now, Murph, how are you doing? You're back there. You haven't said a word tonight. I've tried. It's, it's, I'm just the love is just in the air. It's I know. It's thick. It's thick. Now, Merv, you are a man about town. That's fair to say. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Now, how would you describe the vibe in this room with all these single people tonight? I love it. I love it. Yeah. I, th I think some people are absolutely going to get laid tonight. You think people are going to straight up get laid? People are going to get laid tonight. I'm going to say this. Speed daters. Speed daters, listen up, because I'm telling you this. My goal... I want two people who have never met each other making out on camera before the end of the night tonight. I want that shit to go down, man. I want it to go down. That's right, Banana Man. All right. Who do we have on the phones? Welcome to the show. How can we help you tonight? Caller, are you there? Nobody on the... Do we have anybody? Hello? Yes. Hello. Who, what are, who are you? What do you want? This is New York comedian Riley Soliner on the line. Right, Riley, what's up? Hey. Riley, how can we help you tonight? Hey, I got a question for the human fish to hopefully narrow down uh, the girlfriend for him. Okay, you're going to let the human fish speak so we can let the ladies know what the human fish is looking for. What's your battle? Okay, human fish. Big wiggly boobies or a <laughs> big old bouncy butt? Big old bouncy butt? I want to just make sure I'm clear on that. Is that what you said? Yeah. Big old wiggly boobies <laughs> versus a big old bouncy butt. Human fish, who wins? Big old bouncy butt. Yeah. But oh. yeah. Who knew? The human fish is a butt fish. <laughs> now, Riley, anything else you want to talk about tonight? Uh, I'm very lonely. You are. <laughs> you are, you're lonely. So, Riley, how can I help you out? Riley, let me get I don't know. I, I thought about coming down to the show, but then I, I chickened out because uh, it, it, I don't like this stuff being too public. But now I'm talking about it, so I, I don't know. Okay. So, Riley, I think girls like you, man. I'm going to go on record to say I think girls are fascinated by you. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Look at that. Bethany oh, says yeah. that. <laughs> Beth, Riley, I think you should jump in a cab and get down here, man, because I think I could hook you up. I think Papa Geth could edge you right to the call <laughs> How about, how about this? Riley, Riley, close your eyes right now. Right, yes. Let's Riley, close your eyes. Are, yeah. your, are your eyes closed? Yes. Okay. Studio audience, who in here would make out with Riley tonight? Wow. Wow. Mostly gentlemen. Wow. 
I see at least two dudes and four girls who say they will make out with you if you get that. Oh, right. no, no, no. Riley, not a joke. A number of women just raised their hand that they would make out with you. No way. Riley. <laughs> Riley, it happened. Get down here and prove me wrong, well. man. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come right. on down. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Everybody calm down. Riley, would you... <laughs> Hold on, Riley. Would you make out with Sashir? What? Would you, you make out with Sashir? Our friend Sashir that you know. Yeah. Come down. Shit. She'll do it. Nicole is saying that her friend Sashir will make out with you. And Riley, I'm going to say this. Get down here, because Sashir is out of your league, man. And we both know that. We both know that. That's not an insult right, well, to you. That's all right, here, here, here's the deal. What's that? Here's the deal, guys. I got a guy saying no spot you five on the cab, Riley. Five, we got ten dollars on the cab ride, Riley. What? I can't understand. I can't understand. All right, five, Riley. Five. We got fifteen dollars towards a cab ride. You don't even have to pay for the cab. I was gonna take the train. No, the trains are fucked. Get a cab. Get down here. But I'm not gonna sit here and beg you, Riley. Come down here, man. If yeah. you get down here, we'll hook you up. No joke. All right, I'll take the cab. I'll be right there. Uh Who else? Do we have anybody else on the phone? 212-757-1393. Call in. Hello. Speed daters, let's switch it up. Let's keep it down. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome. How are you? Hey, Chris. It's Walter. How are you? Walter, how's Walter. it going, man? What's that? We're playing your calling song. Walter is calling. Walter. All right, Walter, what's on your mind? What can we help you with tonight? Nothing, nothing. I just wanted to give a shout out to my um, roommate Vanessa. She's watching the show here with me. And I just have to say that you look great in the Target admin. What was that, Walter, the last part? I just wanted to give a shout out to Vanessa, my roommate, watching the show with me tonight. I just wanted to say that you look great at the ad of Target. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, we're not allowed to bring up, we're not allowed. Public television rules. Oh, can't bring I'm up. sorry. Oops. No, Walter, you didn't know, man. You didn't know, but hey, big shout out to your roommate Vanessa. Thank you for the kind words. Now, uh, Walter, if you did not, if you didn't get your phone call through, would you still have shouted out to the person sitting next to you? What? You would have still. What? Shouted? Yeah. You could always give Vanessa a shout out. She's in yeah. the room. I, uh, guys, it's so hard to hear you. I know, All even right. worse than usual tonight, Walter. Thank you for the call. You're one of our favorites. You're our first ever fan. The support means the world. Thank you for calling in. Wait. I'm going to turn to the human fish right now. So human fish, you really are in the market for a human girlfriend. So take us through some battles that let us know what you're looking for, like human fish. Blonde versus brunette versus redhead. Oh, you can do three. Yeah. That's a three battle. Do you know how that works? <laughs> brunette. Brunette. Woo! brunette. A lot of the brunettes. The audience clapping. Human Fish, based on that reaction, I'm going to say this. I don't know if we need the phone lines, because a lot of ladies in our studio audience just cheered. All right, something to think about. Ladies, get ready to step up if you're feeling the Human Fish, because he's never known the joys of the human woman. Three daters, let's switch. Last one. Thank God, man. Human Fish, what else? What else do you want to let us know about ladies you're looking for through battle form? But I got a question. Hold on. Keep it down. Keep it down, guys. Human fish. Would you, uh, making love on a beach or making love in the ocean? Wow. Making Whoa. love on the beach versus making love in the ocean. Making love in the ocean. In the ocean. The lady, a boo. A lady just booed that idea. Wow. <laughs> All right. Speed daters, let's keep it a little quieter. In the meantime, we got a caller on the line. Caller, welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hi, this is Connor Ratliff, presidential candidate. Presidential candidate, Connor Ratliff. Welcome to the show. Connor, how are you? How's the campaign going? The campaign is going very well, and I, I have to admit the theme of the show tonight uh, has made me want to call in and unburden myself of a secret. A secret? Um, there, there have been a lot of, uh, for those of you who have been following the presidential campaign, yes. uh, there have been some scandals lately, some sex scandals. That's true. And I have to admit, I must confess to being part of a love affair. Hold on, speed daters, pause, because we got breaking news. 
Presidential candidate Connor Ratliff is calling our show to admit he has been part of a love affair. So this is coming. I am currently in the middle of a love affair with the American people. Wow. <laughs> wow. He got me. Wow. He got me. You got us all. Connor Ratliff, oh, you're so smart. So you're, you're telling us right now nobody's going to find any skeletons in your closet. I couldn't hear any of that. I'm sorry. I'm saying you're claiming right now nobody's going to find any skeletons in your closet. No mistresses, no weird <coughs> shit in your past. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm in the biggest love affair of all. I, I'm in love with 300 million people. Wow. wow. All right. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. Well, Connor, I'm glad the campaign's going well. We appreciate that call. Anything else you want to say to the people while you have them here, while you have the floor? Yes, I would like to say I am on the cusp of making a major announcement. Wow. I am about to be endorsed by a major star of reality television. Wow, a major reality TV star is on the cusp of endorsing you. That's right. I, I can't name names now as we get made it official. But wow. Keep your eyes peeled. In the next seven days, you know, okay. which major reality star? Okay, we will keep our eyes peeled for that major announcement. Thank you very much, Connor. Thanks for the Thank call. Thank you. 36 years old. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now we've had a... Oh, speed date or switch? I think that's our final one. Final speed date. Let's switch. Oh, we're done. All right. Thank God. Finally, the show can quiet the fuck down. In the meantime, though, before we even get to that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a video. Our own Banana Man right here. Banana Man, you have a... Great star show with videos before. What should we say about this one before? It's a K-Skill production. It's a K-Skill production. Uh, I, I went on an internet date, and it got kind of weird. Weird internet date. <laughs> it was a really weird Fits internet date. It's the theme date. tonight. Let's go ahead. Let's roll that video. My name is Tim, and I'm 18 years old. In episode two, you well, said... That is, that is the wrong video. I did not go on a date with him. <laughs> that was the wrong video. I did not go on a date with him. We have already seen that video. I did not. Let's roll a I different video than that one. <laughs> Ideally, the one that I was talking about moments ago. They're telling me to stretch. Banana Man's, his one says, hello, Boner Town. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this is a major no. technical. Okay, wait, yeah, hold on. Sure. If we got a couple of time, here's what I'm going to tell the speed daters. Your speed dating's over. Catherine's going to join us. She's going to tell us who she thought had some chemistry after the video. So be ready, speed daters. Come up. Meet the people who might be your once you left. Speed daters, here's another thing. If you're feeling it, if you're like, I like that person, I got my eye on that person, tell them, I want to talk to you. If you want privacy, you're allowed to go behind that banner. <laughs> we set that banner up further than we usually do from the wall. Go back there. No cameras, no microphones. If you're like, hey, girl, I like the look of you. In our brief two minutes together. She's like, I want to suck that dick. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, suck some dick behind no, that No, I would not go so far as to say suck dick behind their banner. I'm not Sign gonna go... your name with a dick print. <laughs> but if anybody does want some private time, that banner is yours. It's the best we can do as, pri as far as private areas go. But be ready to get called forth. Catherine saw some chemistry. If you guys see some chemistry, start talking to the people who you were feeling tonight, all right? Either behind the banner or right here in the seats. But please, speed daters, keep it quiet. In the meantime, I'm told that we do have our video. Let's go ahead and see what K-Skill Productions is bringing to us tonight. <laughs> Sally! You're definitely Sally. You're Keith? You're, you are you're... so much more beautiful in real life than you are on the internet. Thanks. You, um, uh, you don't even resemble the pictures that you posted. Maybe, uh, maybe this will make it up to you. Uh, no, no, no. That's really okay. I don't normally kiss on the first date. Oh, I just thought that since we've been talking on the internet for so long... No, this is a first flesh date, so, um... Thank you, though. That's... thank you. You want to go get some sandwiches? Yeah, that's what will be the next step. Sure. Let's go. I got the door. Let's... you can go. No, ladies first. Oh, watch your head. I also think this is a really great sandwich. And because we have so much in common, I'm just thinking we should take our relationship to the next level. Oh, oh my god. 
Ever since I please looked don't. at your profile please on don't. OkCupid. Please don't. Please don't. Please I knew don't. that you were the one please for don't. me. Please I don't. knew. Please I just don't. knew in my heart. Please please and that doesn't happen very often. Will you take my hand? I when I was a little girl, my mother told me that the man who sang to me on my first date would be my husband. Would you marry me? Oh God, I was hoping you weren't gonna do that. Sally, listen, I love you so much, but I just have my whole life ahead of me. I'm thinking of pursuing a career in music. I gotta go. I'll love you till the day I die. I just... oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Ah! Sally! All right, thank you so much, Banana Man, for that video. Amazing. You are out of your minds. You're a crazy person. Let's go ahead. So, Catherine, who do we got? Some of our, our couples okay. who you see some chemistry with. Let's go ahead. Let's call them up. I could be wrong. Yeah. I think Jose and Alana. I thought Jose were... and Alana, let's do it. Let's get up here. Come have a talk. So Alana, Jose, how are you? Nice to see you, Alana. Jose, great to meet you. Let's do it right oh. here, face the camera. Sorry. So Catherine said that she noticed some chemistry between you guys. Would you agree? Um. <laughs> wow, maybe not. Jose, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? A little nervous. A little nervous. Now, Alana, nervous. Okay, so what did you think? He's very nice. Very nice? Very nice. And, um... <laughs> That's Pop again. Pop, I told you I could hook you up by saying things like, what do you think? <laughs> Okay, Catherine, what are you aware of? I'm aware of something that's going to grow, but maybe it's not in your consciousness. Catherine, do you think maybe these two could develop this crackling chemistry? Because I feel it, too, if they stepped behind that banner. It's palpable. We're going to send you guys back behind the banner. Let's do it, Jose and Alana. Let's get back there. Jose, I'm going to say, maybe not the best idea to wear a trench coat to a speed dating event. A little weird, a little terrifying. You seem like you're Matthew Christensen, his skin is adorable. Okay. And she knows it. This girl knows it. Okay. So Good what's kid. your name? Matt, and, and what was your name? I'm Aaron. A Aaron, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Matt, what's that? Oh, the mic's for, oh, I already have a mic. I was trying to point it to them. Okay, so you were feeling something here. I hope you look at this I know. Oh, you're feeling it, Aaron. Oh, wow. Papa Jeff. All right, so Aaron, you're not, you're not fucking around. You just I'm made not. some body contact. Yeah, I know. You're into it. I am into it. Were you feeling the chemistry as well? I think we have a confession to make. We do have a confession to make. Best friends. We are on and off. <laughs> yeah, long we. Long time. So let's what call us. No, 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 no. You can know that. You can know that. You no, Catherine, really... don't get frustrated because here's what I'm going to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> here's what I'm going to say. You guys are saying you're best friends for a long time. I'm going to call bullshit on that. One of you likes the you're other. You're right. No, we both. <laughs> I mean, at different times, I think we both, and I'm gonna say that and look on camera. Yeah, two yeah. camera. Yeah, I'm gonna say on camera. And then... So you've been two ships passing in the oh, night. Yeah. I assume no one would believe me. But Up until me. now. Five years. Five years. Five you've been years. best friends with this crackling sexual energy between you. <laughs> so what do you guys say? Do you do you want to ask her out on an official date tonight? Oh my. <laughs> um, People are yelling, "Kiss her from the bathroom." I don't know. That's up to you. I'm not gonna force anything. Wow. Oh. wow! 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 I believe! Wow! <laughs> Look at that. One down, 20 to go! Congratulations. Now, was that your first smooch? I'm guessing no. not. No, that's not our first smooch. So, you guys just. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you guys playing these head games with each other? You like each other, Life man. It's short. It's Life her. Is short. So you're in, you're like, let's because, do this. Okay, okay. Think of it. 
He has been my best friend for four, Aaron, five years. Aaron, you're not going to, like, convince him yeah. right here. He's going to be like, oh, you're right. The whole premise of our show, let's forget about it. No, I'm an open-minded guy. Comedy. I'm just saying, it's like, this if I go if for it. Friends, you get the tough part out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to take care of you but better I'll, than this I'll guy? Lose everything if we break up. Do you know what but I mean? Gain no. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> you gain everything. Him up, and then I know. I'm yes. watching this Twitter, and I know. kind of getting jealous. You just watch this dude go on speed dates with all these other ladies. You oh. gotta nail this dude down, cause this guy's a keeper, man. He's, He's a catch. Her. I'm gonna. He, here's my verdict. Behind the banner with you. Behind the banner. And all I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna ask, name the baby Gether. Just na middle name. Just name the baby Gether. They blew us out of the water last time. Check them out on Facebook. Go to their website. Please check out their new album and welcome back to the stage, Genghis Barbie! <laughs> Check them out on Facebook. Go to their website. The best, the coolest. Let's go ahead. What, do we have any callers on the line? Yeah. Yes. Who's this? How can we help you? Nothing. I just want to say hi to Chris. Yeah. Hey, what's I up? I just wanted to say hi to you, Chris. Hi. How's it going? It's good. <laughs> you know, I was going to call you like a couple of days ago to tell you that I had seen you on the commercial first, okay. but the other guy beat me. That's cool. <laughs> And I was arguing with my boyfriend about it. 
<laughs> you got wait. You got an argument with your boyfriend because you recognized me on a television. No, not a no, not a real real argument. It was more. <laughs> it was really just like I know that's Chris. I know that's Chris, and he was like, No, I don't think so. And I was like, Yes, it is, and that was it. Wait, Nicole Byer has a question. What are you eating right now? That was it. <laughs> I just called to bother you. You just called up eating snacks just to put... Are you finally and to got prove some... that I had no other commercial. We finally got some momentum going with this goddamn show, and you called up with this nonsense. Know. All right, thanks for the call. Let's go ahead. Human fish, come forward. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jesus. This ain't good. Human fish. No ladies have called in, being your human... Uh, your, your, uh, wanting to be your human girlfriend tonight. What's on your mind right now in light of that? This will not work. Sadness. Wow. Versus loneliness. Sadness versus loneliness. Who wins? Both. Wow. That's a tie. Human fish, what's on your mind after hearing the reaction of that crowd? Not good. Versus? versus very good. Who wins? Not good. <laughs> the human fish. I believe that there's a lady out there who wants to be the human fish's first human girlfriend. If she's watching right now, call. We don't have much time left. 212 757 1393. If she's in here, if there's a lady who right here has been like, that's me the whole time, I suggest you stand up. Step up. Make it happen. Wow. Oh. Wow. All right. Human fish. It's our first candidate for first human uh, girlfriend. How are you feeling now? What's on your mind now? Do you need her to shake that ass? Make sure to shake <laughs> her ass. booty. We know you're a booty man. Oh, you're saying yes, you would like that. Well, that's not cool, human fish. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say, behind the banner with you two. All right, Catherine. Where's Catherine? Who else do we got? Martin and Denise, welcome to the show. Martin, Denise, how are you? I mean, we kind of started out bitter enemies. We, we, we kind of have a confession. Another confession. You knew each oh, other, shit. too? Oh, I, uh, we're going to just let it all out. I mean... Okay. So uh, we kind of had a contest going on um, on Twitter. We, we made an agreement to see who could be more single by the end of the night. And I think... What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It means we had no expectations, it's, it's and he like, drew Crayola. I mean, like I... This, this wasn't really shit. a selling point. This wasn't going to... Well, I, I, I mean... So you guys pre-planned trying to sabotage your own dates. and then Just with each other, <laughs> maybe? I don't know what it really meant, but we had a single off, and we're still singling off right now. Catherine, you were just wrong on this no. one. They connected on their little We scheme. connected on... Well, we connected on that. And I was not Other things. I mean, and other things. I mean, we had a good time. We talked about crying. We can hang out. From, oh, we, we can hang I out? I talked crying. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're bickering like fuck buddies. I know. See, you are. Yeah. 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 Murph did nail it. Anything? Okay, so anything so you guys want to address? Be together alone, single. Is that true? All right. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Open to the opportunity. We're open to, open any to possibilities. Yeah. Possibilities. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. People yell and kiss her. People yell and kiss her. Wow. Come on. All right. Well, I'll leave it up to you. No, no, we're not gonna pressure. Come on, no, it's up to you guys. No pressure. Thank you, Martin. Please, I don't want to pressure this. No, no, no. Because we can't, this show ain't about peer pressuring people into rapey situations. The kids show can't turn that. One more that we wanted no to do with it. Stand behind that curtain, by the way. They're all nope. out here watching. Everybody. Well, they all took their time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a weird curtain. <laughs> Matthew's a gentleman. He doesn't Matthew is a gentleman. Uh, Mandillo and Annie. Mandillo and Annie. Welcome to the show. Annie, good to see you. Nick, welcome hey, back. Been a while since we've seen you. I'm yeah, good. good to see you. So, Catherine sensed some uh, chemistry. Would you say she's correct? Time. Wow. I was yeah, it was fine. She was only the second person I talked to. Wow, yeah. but you Whoa. never forgot her. But <laughs> always the first. But the problem is that she confesses she's leaving in a week to I go is. to. So Where are you going? Where are you going? Make it happen. Going back home. <laughs> You're going home. Yeah. How far away is that? Kind of far away. Okay. Too far for me to really. So you're not a long distance, man. <laughs> no, not really. I know. Come I back said after that. A while? How would you feel I about know. having a one-week love affair that you always hold fondly in your heart? Yeah. <laughs> Because those are fun, too. Yeah, and I got nothing to do next week. So. <laughs> He's got nothing to do? <laughs> Will you help her pack? Oh, 
man. You yes. dick. Yes. <laughs> no, of course, of course. I'm trying to hook you up, man. No, no, of course I would, of course, of course. Wow. You look vastly uncomfortable right now. Vastly. <laughs> really, quite uncomfortable with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might have pushed this one a little too far. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll leave you guys to talk this one out, but just know, we've got a strapping young gentleman willing to help you move, willing to put his muscles on display, and it sounds like there was mutual chemistry there. So just keep it in mind, because well, I'll tell you this, you want to regret the things in life that you have done, yeah. not the things that you haven't. You don't want to look at the tape of this show. Don't clap for that. Don't clap for that. No need. Annie? Annie. She only had a week left to you live. You did. Yeah. You signed up for this knowing you were going to die in a week. She's going to die. You go home. You're dead. Because <laughs> wherever you're going, the men ain't like the men in New York City. It's true. Why won't you tell us where you're going? I'm going to Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I can yeah, I know. All right. We can talk later. <laughs> wow. Well, Annie, Nick, I hope it works out. Cool. Thank you guys very much. Noah, you're telling me we got some phone calls? We got six minutes left. Okay, so what should we do? Keep, keep going. All right, wait. Riley. Let's go, let's go to the phones real quick. Do we have a caller on the line? Caller, welcome to the show. How's it going? Good. What are you on? What do you want to talk about tonight? Welcome. I mean, well, first I want to, like, it looks like Shannon has a new haircut. Loving it. Thanks. Great haircut. Yeah. Great haircut. That's awesome. So, yeah, what else is on your mind? But I have, like, it's about dating. I have not been successful, but I have a good story, I think. Okay. That I'd like to share. Um, I was invited to a party by this female, attracted to her, sure. Saturday night, I was like, oh, sounds interesting, but couldn't attend, told her no. She asked why. I was like, well, uh, there's a new Chris Rock comedy special coming up. Can't watch it. Can't, can't go to the party. You got stood up for a Chris Rock comedy special? I stood her up for a Chris Rock oh. comedy special. <laughs> you deserve every ounce of loneliness. Right? I know. You do. Forever lonely over here. You are, but you can't pull shit like that and then not be lonely. You got to put yourself out there, man. But, well, I mean, I was young then, but it was, it was like, to be fair, it was Chris Rock. HBO will rerun that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Should be on demand on Saturday. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Great point. All right. Well, thank you very much for the call. We got to move on. That, bro that was the saddest thing that's happened tonight. Now, Nicole, I feel we haven't gotten any calls. I feel really bad. It's all right. Because I feel like you would have destroyed some man. I would have fucking deep-throated a dick. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Behind, if a man showed up tonight. Yeah. An attractive man that I wanted to jump on, I would have sucked his dick back there. Behind that curtain. It would have been awkward for the rest of us, but you would have fun. I don't know how awkward it would be. I mean, if I went far, far than enough, it'd be fine. No one would see it. I also feel like there's a couple guys in this studio who fit your profile tonight. Hmm, are there? I'm looking at I'm looking in Drew Johnston's okay. direction. Whoa. I'm looking in Drew Johnston's direction. Let's think about that. In the meantime, we want, we, want, we want our speed daters up on your feet. The LLC is gonna start playing some music. We're gonna do something called a snowball. I am not familiar with what this is. Anybody, not even the speed daters. We're gonna start it off. We got one lady, one man. How about any? Who wants to volunteer to grab a dance partner? Isn't Who's gonna do it? Random Dan, who do you want to dance with? Random Dan, you guys, let's get out on that dance floor. You guys are gonna start dancing, then who's gonna yell snowball? Who's gonna tell them? You guys are all gonna suck cum out of each other. No, 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 no. You guys are gonna start dancing. Then the LLC is gonna signal you, and then you're each gonna grab a different partner. So there'll be two couples dancing, then four couples dancing, and then all these people will be slow dancing in our studio to end the show. So grab your partner, let's get it going. LLC will make it happen. So one couple dances first. And then splits off into there two couples. Go. There's one couple starting. There we go. All right. Well, these two are gonna get the let's do it. Out of their <laughs> let's get it. Let's, let's split off already. Let's see each of you find a new partner. Let's go to four people get Let's do it to everybody. Yeah. Who else? Random Dan, grab a lady. Grab your partners. Start dancing. I don't know what's going on. Jose, I'll dance with you, Jose. Thank you. 
so much. That's really nice of you, Jose. Wow. Oh, wow. That's that very nice. Right, You're well, some of the only Sanchez. ones, from what I can tell. Time to dirty Sanchez now. Oh wow! The man behind the plan has emerged! Nicole! The man behind the plan couldn't like resist the attraction! Nicole was asked to dance, refused to put her iPhone down. Okay, I think I might switch partners. Refused! Let's do it. Sounds good. Alright guys. Switch! Way down. Everybody, time for a Cleveland steamer. Half of you lay on the ground. The other half of you lay the ground. In the moonlight, my honey, I know. The dawn that we will be gone. But tonight, you belong to me. Just live A white sport coat and a pink carnation. We gotta say goodbye. I'm all alone. Oh, oh! I completely forgot. Cut the music. One more surprise, ladies and gentlemen. For the rest of the show, we're turning off every light in the studio. All you single people, do what you will. I want to say good night to everybody watching MNN. Good night to everyone watching at thechrisgathershow.com. Lights off, however much time we got. Let's do it. No one can see, they can only make out your silhouettes. I want to thank Mimi on the hoops. I want to thank Greg and Barbie for coming tonight. Thank you to all our singles for taking a chance on dating. We love you all, good night. Maybe on the planet, the water is too much light. I